Hello and welcome to another episode of Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Andrea Onduko, and with my husband, Dr. Agbo Onduko, we pastor Chapel of Grace, which is a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford in West Yorkshire. I'm so happy that you've joined us today, and I pray that you'll be blessed as you watch and listen in Jesus' name. Our topic today is on forgiveness and its restitution. Our Bible passage is taken from 1 John chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Our memory verse is from 1 John 3, 15. It says, whoever hates his brother is a murderer and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. That is a strong word today. As children of God, we must be careful not to allow booby traps for ourselves on the way to our heavenly journey. Restitution is one area which our Father in the Lord, Pastor Adiboye, has continued to ring into our ears because it would be sad to do everything right here and then get to the gates of heaven and be told that we are denied access as a result of a restitution that we have failed to make. A restitution is simply when you make something right that you did wrong. If you have wronged someone who told a lie against someone, please quickly go and make amends with that person. If someone has also offended you, please go and let the person know what he has done to you with the intention to forgive and not to fight. You know, some people will pretend that they want to go and resolve a problem, but in reality, they just want to go for round two. They want to go and settle a score which could aggravate matters and complicate an already bad situation. Therefore, if you're going to go back to that person, make sure you are going in peace. Just like we learned yesterday, wisdom is the principal thing. In all you're getting, get understanding. Understand when the anger is still all over you and it may not be the time to go to that person to resolve the quarrel. Wait until you are at peace and let your intention be peaceful. You might ask, but the Bible says we must not allow our anger to continue to the next day. My answer is wisdom is profitable to direct. We can find instances in the Bible when people make amends. The jailer in Acts chapter 16 was used as an example in our Open Heavens daily devotion today. When he released Paul and Silas after giving his life to Christ, he took them home and treated their injuries and gave them decent food to eat. You need to forgive, otherwise your prayers may be hindered and you will be blocking your blessings and your access to your heavenly home. We have maintained time and time again that when you are offended and you refuse to forgive, that you actually suffer double jeopardy because you are hurt and you go further to hurt yourself. The other person has forgotten all about it and you are the one carrying the pain and the heavy heart around. You don't need that. When you see the fellow or when the fellow talks, you feel bitterness. It fills your mind and you feel like you should do something at that moment. If you have that feeling towards anybody, please stop making yourself an emotional victim today. Forgive by sorting things out with the person and release yourself from that prison of unforgiveness. Now, you might be thinking, but can't I just forgive in my heart? Can't I just ask God to forgive me? Do I need to go to the person? It is better for you to go to them and resolve it and continue because you don't know what is going on in the mind of the person, what offense they are holding against you. So it's better that you go and actually make restitution and resolve that conflict face to face in love. Our action point today says, list the names of people you hold a grudge against or who hold a grudge against you and prayerfully reconcile with them immediately. I think that is very good advice for you to do today. So please do that. And I know that God and his grace is enough and sufficient for you to be able to forgive anyone who has offended you. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.